Man, it sure was good talking to Buck. Man, catching up on old times. Got a fairly good deal, I think, on a... Grant, he's out of the area just like I was when he needed me when his whole uh, farmyard basically was flooded. His yard is dried out, so we're just going to move this back for him, so uh, help him out a little bit because we weren't there the first time. All right, we're just pulling up here. I have no idea how uh, Grant wants this all placed out, but we will uh, just get it all back here. Uh, like I said, this, this is surprisingly... Uh, didn't do too much damage around here. Don't think he had a lot of flood damage, but you never know uh, what's hidden underside or what's going to mow later on or anything. So I'm just going to put this stuff where I think he might want it. I don't know, but uh, this way when he comes back from his trip, he'll have everything right here convenient doesn't have to uh, worry about transporting it back to his dried out farmyard. Just a little helping out of a neighbor, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, helping him out. Hey, did you guys know that Grant was a, uh, a Huskers fan? Yep. Yep, he's a Huskers fan. Not an Iowa fan over there. He's a Huskers. Huskers, yep. All right, starting up his truck here. You know he's gonna want this when he gets back from his trip, so. Gonna bring his race car back to him, his truck. I'm sure he will uh, be appreciative of all that. Uh, so in other words, is it's time to start planting around here. I, I do plan on purchasing another planter, but I don't have a ton in the bank government subsidies was not good for me corn prices was down this year basically I just scooted by I'm living on government subsidies let's just say that but I really just want another planter to uh, run around uh, just to have so that way I can run my uh, DB60 I could put oh Timmy on the other planter, and I think it'd just be uh, more uh, efficient that way. It doesn't have to be a big planter. I'm not gonna, you know, break the bank or anything like that. I basically just want a uh, uh, probably a 12 row. Really looking for a good little 12 row planter. Uh, I wanted a three point hitch 12 row just because they're very easy to use, turn around easy, and everything. But I don't know if uh, Buck up there, good buddy Buck, has one. I know I've already asked the case dealership and uh, they do not have one yet. So they don't have one available around the area. So going to have to figure out where I can get one. I'm not sure. Uh, think I'm gonna go up there and just do some window shopping at a uh, Buck's new uh, dealership maybe we can find something that will be fairly cheap like I said nothing new is gonna be purchased we already got enough of that new paint on the farm this old uh, Ford he has really drives nice and smooth not too bumpy Need to head back here to uh, pull his other Ford on the trailer. Don't know why a Ford needs to be pulled on a trailer, but apparently in this case it does. Maybe he was just trying to get everything out of Dodge really quick. Gonna take his old 4020. Wouldn't mind keeping this on the farm. Even though I we have our own, I kind of like his. So I might get it all ready for him to start, you know, cultivating. 4020 can get her done. Don't doubt this 4020. So this is a last piece of a uh, truck 
that we're going to drive back. I think uh, there's going to be a few more pieces of equipment, but uh, we'll just let Grant get that. This is majority of his stuff, so this will be it. Got everything loaded up, everything, so when he gets back, it'll be nice and easy for him to just uh, start in his uh, spring preparations, farming preparations. And then we need to get into our own, which uh, first is uh, we need to figure out what exactly a new planting rig. Don't want to go all out, get something, you know, just, you know, a DB90 or 120. I mean, them thing, that's, that's just too big for a farm. I'm in... Grant has a weird, like, uh, mound in the front. That's odd. Alright, so this is majority of his stuff. Like I said, it's not even, there isn't even hardly a puddle around here, so... I think this, uh, is ground and everything. I mean, look, some of the snow just didn't even, like, evaporate, so... Uh, I think he will be able to get in the field sooner than what he thinks he is, but uh, he probably left town just because he was so sick to his stomach. What's up, Gina? Get you a little food there? Ooh, wow. Kind of tricky how you walk through them walls. Never seen that before. So, I'm gonna run up to the John Deere dealership and just do a little window shopping. I don't know if Buck is up there or not. But uh, I need to do a little window shopping. I need to figure out what I need, or I need to find some rig for this year before we start in the field. So I think I'm going to head down there. Not even sure exactly how I get there. Not positive. I, I haven't even been there yet. I've heard it's down behind the case dealership. So I guess we could see if case dealership has anything right now. Huh. They left a log right in the middle of the road there. It's a little odd. Yep, all these roads are nice. Uh, they were all underwater, I guess, so I saw a lot of the pictures. Saw some of the pictures of uh, Grant's house. I mean, I'm hoping that he didn't have any grain in his uh, grain bins, because that would be a spoiled mess. No way the dryer is going to basically uh, clean that up. He's lucky the grain bins just didn't explode because most of the time you see that's what happens. Especially if you saw the last huge flood Nebraska had. Saw a lot of grain bins just uh, exploded in under the water and stuff. Poor farmers. I think I passed the street right there. Oh well, I guess we could just go over here and see if the case dealership has anything. I do have an old uh, DB60 here. John Deere. That's odd. So, I have a few John Deeres around this place. Alright, we're gonna head down this road. I'm pretty sure this is the way to the Platte Valley. The new Platte Valley, like I said, I've never been there, so we're gonna see. We're gonna go on a little adventure here. Oh man, I think I might have lucked out. Looks like Buck might be around here. See some action around this place. Oh yeah, somebody's doing something. Hey Buck, what's up? Hey Stevio, how have you been my friend? Oh man, it is so good to see you. It's like a long lost friend. I haven't seen you forever. I know. I how have you, what have you been up to lately? I oh, I, I haven't spoken I've just to you been, probably since last last uh, winter. I know, I've just been, uh, you know, busy farming. I have been working long hours. I am burnt out. I was going to say, I mean, I, you get a figure. 
I Same thing goes for me. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I haven't really done anything with the farm. I mean, they say farmers don't do a whole lot in the winter, but when you're building, prepping a dealer for spring, eh, it'll take up your, uh, it'll take up your schedule. I'll tell you that much. Dude, talking about a dealership, man. Did you have somebody help you design this thing? This is nice. I mean, this place. No, this is, well, yes, a little bit. The building we already had the blueprints for because it's the same one back we had in Iowa. They Everyone got renovated to pretty much the same building. But landscaping and all that, I drew that out for every, all the guys. Trees, they were technically all right. And some of them were here, some of them weren't. We got some new bushes and everything else. It's just, I just beautifully love landscape. Uh, per, landscaping is a personal uh, uh, love of mine. Oh, wow. I, I tell you what, you got a great talent. This thing, this is nice. It just, it's almost laid out perfectly. You got that uh, display mound up there, I guess. What did you call it? And then, uh, yeah, kind of our uh, year year round, like I said, display. Certain times of the year, we'll have certain things. Come August or come fall, we'll have combines sitting up there, carts and all that. Wow, this this place. Man, this is you you put that case dealership to the shame over there. <laughs> We're a little more organized and a little more open floor plan here. So, I was going to talk to you. I know it's a little empty right now, but do you have any old stock around here? Any old tractors or even a planter maybe? Uh, to my knowledge, we only have one that came in 3 days ago. He was he's looking for something to trade off. We didn't we got him into a new a newer six R six M that we, we had in. Uh, it's uh, it's an old I think it's an old third old old sixty series four wheel drive and as well as he brought in an old eight row planter. Ooh, an old sixty series. Where is that at? Can we go look at it, that? Yeah, it's uh, it's back here on the other part of the. Well, it's down here by the old, the combines. It's in the used section. Oh man, you're gonna make me walk by these beautiful seven series S sevens. Woo! Oh, oh yes, they were nice. Mm -hmm. So here's to be. This is gonna be the John Deere 4960 that we have in stock. It's pretty much the only old machine that we got here. Uh, the guy who brought it in a couple weeks ago, he brought it in three days ago. Um, he was looking for something to replace his tractor. Their their family. They just couldn't really do the root crop anymore. It was just getting too expensive for them. So they sold off a little bit of the land and bought some uh, hay ground. And they bought a new 6M out of here from us. But what happened with this thing was that its clutch went out. So we've already had to replace the clutch just from wear and tear, as well as a couple hydraulic remotes in the back. Uh, he did do a couple of restoration things on this, though, before they got out. I mean, as you can see, the rims are completely, they look brand new, as well as the tires. I'm assuming the tires are maybe four or five years old. Yeah. They're just great condition. Uh, the hour readings on this, if I'm correct, when I last checked it when we got it in here, was about 58.65. So she is kind of getting up there in age, but she's still got a lot of hours left for her. Oh, she's a deer. She'll run. She'll run till 10. Probably, depending on how well good how well you take care of it. Knowing Grant, his would last three weeks and then break again. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Or, or underwater, one of the two. Right, that too. Uh, the this does, I believe, have the Starfire three thousand because we have Ooh. the globe on it. It's it is. I'm not too sure if we have it set up or if he disconnected that, but it's okay. it's there. We can we can hook it up if it's not. Uh, the steps, everything else, the body's just in beautiful condition. If you want to get in there, take a look at it. Possibly, yeah. Just I do like these loop or... steps on this uh, six sixty series. Yeah. Nice and easy to get yeah. in. They're heavy duty. They'll be they'll be able to hold. Oh wow! Starts up. Nice. Ah uh, yes. Oh yeah, nice power shift too. This is nice. Yes. Yeah, this would be nice and easy for my farm hand. Yeah, I don't hear nothing wrong with it. Nope, she's, uh, they kept her in, they kept the engine in good condition. They did regular maintenance. They did all the regular maintenance that was required to keep her in, keep her in good shape. She's got the hours on her. They did replace the headlights on them with LEDs, so you won't be doing, they're not super bright. 
but they are at least some nice brighter bulbs for field work. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, yeah. Um, I hear you're also talking about wanting to look at the planner, correct? Yep. Uh, yes, that is our little eight row. This this actually came in with the with the forty nine sixty, nine seventeen. I said seventeen fifty or sixty. Yeah, so you, it does work. We got we had to replace a couple of times on the uh, seed boxes. There was one of them was completely busted beyond belief. Like, don't even know how he was probably even planting with it. It was just more of a uh, hopefully it's going <laughs> in the ground. Uh, <laughs> Hoses weren't too bad. We had to replace two of the hydraulic hoses up here. And not much else. I mean, he kept it in decent shape. Obviously, this is gonna. Ha this one had a lot of field hours on it. It's it's an old one. She's They'd both done their time. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking for a backup because I'm going to use this. This is basically once my farmhand, Timmy, gets done planting the soybeans. He could come, you know, use this and maybe help plant the corn too. So get the, you know, the corn in the ground when it's prime time oh, yeah. a little bit better. So I'm not looking I for nothing it. like huge or big or. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, this would probably be a really good uh, option for you. I mean, I mean, I, I can tell you that the DB60, I sold Grant a lot better, but he also paid close to $200,000 for that thing. Ooh. And. Yeah, it was. It was. It had the smart choice for seed boxes and everything. It was just a mess. He bought. It pretty much was completely loaded. And he's like, "Just give me the papers." I'm like, okay, your money, your call. He must have so made just, out with his insurance or something. I know most I, of his I farm was underwater. Idea. Yeah, and if his credit was good enough that I could sell him something, so I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, I like I like your style though. You're going old school. Three quarters of these farmers these days they cannot stand working on using all these new equipment because they can't work on them. I know. I, I like they this. They just old... want to go with the old timers because it's easier to work on. Yeah, I kind of like this old stuff. So what if I pair this together? What's the deal you can get me? I right, know. Let's talk turkey. Yeah. Let's sell some oh, turkey. Okay, you gotta get the... So. With the purchase of this uh, 4960 and the 16, uh, 50, uh, 1760, uh, your rounded total just for the actual hours that are involved on those, I, I never I never appraised either of the two, but I do have some of the paperwork here. The the 17 the uh, the uh, the nine the ninety the ninety seven sixty is going to be running you at about sixty five. Fifty, so sixty-five thousand five hundred. Um, then the planner itself is going to be about nine nine seven, so nine thousand seven hundred. So the sixty-five five plus the ninety-seven and a half is going to round your total up to. Just get my calculator out because I am an intelligent person that cannot do mental math. Oh yeah, I was doing it on my phone here. All right. So we said nine five and sixty seven five. That'll bring you up to seventy seven even, but with the sales tax of point point seven percent, well seven percent, that'll bumping up an extra fifty three ninety fifty three ninety five hundred five thousand three hundred ninety. Which bring you to a grand total of eighty two thousand three hundred and ninety. Now we can do this two ways, just for the convenience and view. You can either buy it outright, or we can do an installment plan where we can separate that amount into however many months it takes you to pay it off at a decent amount. Okay. Which uh, way would you like to go? Installment plans last for how long? Uh, depending on the amount set that you want, we can do a we can do a four month plan at twenty thousand five hundred ninety seven a month. Or we can do a six-month plan at thirteen seven thirty-one a month. Well, can we do the six months to make it through harvest? And yes. Let's say eighty it's flat. Eighty even for the whole boat. Eighty even. Yeah, eighty thousand. Eighty. Uh, let me just check here. I'm assuming you'd still want to go with the installment plan, though. Yep. 
which brings it out to 13,333. I think we can knock that down to that. The tractor's got some stuff. If it needs fixed, then we can throw that in on top for a couple extra bucks, if any, anything. Because it'll come, we'll have it, we'll have that tractor come with a little bit of a warranty. It's a meh, a three month or 50 hour warranty on there just in case something breaks, just from the buying of us. In case something happens, we can cover you for it. Unless you're Grant and you run it into something, um, we'll cover you for it. So let me grab those papers for the six month installment. It's in the file cabinet over here. Okay. Okay, there's that. So then here's the. Oh. And here's the bills right then here's the papers right here. The first page is just the uh, bill of sale. This is just so you know that what it, what is going on here. Uh, you are legally buying the uh, John Deere 4960 as well as the John Deere 1760 as well, eight row planner. Okay. Um, actually, no, these are both papers. So these are both just the things just so you can kind of get read over. Flip to the next page. This is your I need your name, your signature, and the date. Okay. For the transferring of the ownership. All right. Okay, and then the next page is uh, just need your initials here for the the warranty that I was and I'm just talking to you about. Just that way we can uh, be sure that again you are liable for anything that voids the warranty that causes problems. All right. And last but not least, uh, just name and date, and that'll just seal the transactions, and I'll get the. And I'll get the paperwork a copy here, and I'll get you your copy as not but mine in the file cabinet. All right, sweet. All right. Yeah. yeah. Let me just get you in my human sounding copy machine. Beep chong. Okay, here is your copies of the paperwork. Uh, keep that in a safe place. Just don't lose it. And then again, if something happens, you can bring it up to us, and we'll look at it. To anything else, and that should do it for you. All right, man. It was good to see you, Buck. Good it doing was. business, I, too. Yes. That's probably the best, uh, quickest deal I've ever had to do because I didn't have to tally up things into the hundreds of thousands. Well, then nice. stop doing dip business with Grant. He's a high roller over there. Oh, Austin's the problem on that one. Oh, yeah. He, he's definitely <laughs> stepped it up since Iowa. He's buying the big stuff now. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know where that kid got his money from. I mean when he got into Iowa, he was just that kid running moonshine, and now all of a sudden he's this wealthy college farm kid. Did he win the lottery? I know. It's... I, I got to tell you, though, bud, I like that red plaid shirt. I might have to swap mine out, but I kind of got to keep my white, iconic look. Yeah, the wifey yeah. says it goes with the truck, so I just kind of wear it around uh, a lot. I guess that kind of goes the same for me. My truck's also white. Yeah. Huh. I guess I can't do it now. Sweet. Well, we're kind of doing the same thing here. Yeah. Well, maybe we might have to stop for lunch sometime. Who knows? Meet up in town. Maybe possibly have a chat with Jake. He's but he might be getting a job here. I might, I offered what? him a job as one of the yeah. When since his farm's kind of going under and he's lost all that stuff, uh, I thought about us to be giving him a job as the advertiser here, just doing all of our commercials and all that stuff because oh, we yeah. need someone on that on deck for that. That's cool. I'm I'm glad he at least uh, can step on his feet again. Freaking make it. Free. Oh yeah. And just one last thing is that we are going to be installing once we get the new dealer built because we're actually building up, but we're remodeling this place as well. Yeah. New paint, new walls, all that stuff. It just this place just kind of needed a spiff up. Yes, it's nice, but there's some things that need to be done to it. Yeah. Uh, we are, we actually are going to start installing a rewards point system. So the more you buy, the more points you get, the more deals and discounts you can have. As well oh, wow. as we're going to open up a parts department and just a couple other really nice things to help you guys the best way we can. Oh, that's nice. Man. Yeah. I'm going to make it. I'm going to have to come here more often now just to uh, snoop around. <laughs> well, construction, I believe, starts sometime in two weeks. And they're just going to be certain parts of the store will be closed off just for the safety of others. But we should be get, we should be able to keep it going. All right. Sweet. Well, Thanks, Buck. If you need to get, no problem, sir. We'll have to have meet up after. sometime, but so good talking to you. Gotta, yeah. Well, here we got to end it with a firm handshake. Okay. Right there. Where are you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right there. there. Firm handshake. There you go. Yeah. Oh. You have a good rest of your day, sir. All right. See you later. See you, bud. And it sure was good catching up with Buck. It's been a long time since I got to talk to him. So we got a fairly good deal on a tractor, I believe, anyways. We'll let him haul it to the farmyard there, uh, but uh, 
thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.